back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing an April bullet journal setup flip through and usually I go through my flip through of the previous month which was March but today I'm not going to do that because I hated my March setup. It just didn't work for me, it didn't connect with me personally. There was just something about it that was very off, not me, and I didn't like it, I didn't enjoy using it, so I didn't use the spreads a lot. And uh, so this is a lot based on my previous style of bullet journaling. In my 2017 bullet journal, I used a lot more stickers, um, and I based my theme upon stickers. And I didn't do that much collaging, it was just kind of regular bullet journaling, if that makes sense. I also did a lot of doodles, and of course I have videos for all these spreads, <laughs> if you want to check any of them out. So this is my old style of bullet journaling, and I want to apply this style to the April because I feel like this connects much more with me. And so if you don't already know this, which I doubt any of you do because I don't think I've ever mentioned it, I'm a huge Disney fan. I mean, like, Disney princesses are like my spirit animal. I love Disney princesses and despite the fact that the old ones are, and all of these very much are like, it's not very like pro-feminism sort of thing, I still love the stories because they're classic and they bring me joy because I know what is right and so I don't need you know, uh, approval from the old way of doing things. So I've been basically using this little kit here, so when I decide for a theme I use this little map here to gather all my information and stuff. I have a lot of Frozen stickers because I was like obsessed with Frozen at one point. I have these sticky notes which I didn't actually use and then I have these Frozen stickers as well as um, these post-it notes, Frozen post-it notes and the bigger Frozen stickers. But I've mostly been using this thing here, which I bought at Disney World in Shanghai when I was there. And it basically has loads of princesses, and they have like stickers for each of them, like this. And I really love this kit, and I've been using this for my spreads. What I don't like about this is that Mulan isn't here, and I want someone to explain why Mulan isn't here, because she's like the best kick-ass, like the best princess ever. I love her. And she's not here. And mostly I've been using these uh, St Stabilo Boss highlighters. They're so great because these are like uh, pastel colors kind of. And they're so beautiful. And they truly like fit my theme so well. So this is what I've been using for uh, materials mostly. As well as like regular markers. And so let's get started. So this is my monthly setup. I've been doing it the same way that I usually do, except I've been doing highlighters across here. This is obviously a Frozen theme, and I think it's like the Frozen Fever theme, so it's like uh, the little short movie that came after Frozen. And so here I have a quote that says, The sky is awake, so I'm awake, so we have to play. Which is like one of my favorite quotes from Frozen. I think it's so cute, and that scene is just everything. Here we have expenses, and this is basically exactly the same. Of course, I chose Jasmine for this because, you know, she is like the rich princess. She is all about like royalty and beauty and all that. So, I, of course, I chose her for expenses. And we have the description of what I buy each day here, as well as the amount that I have left after I bought the stuff here, and also how much I spent that month and what is left of that month. And then I have my bills here. I was a little bit hesitant of using like the princess uh, for these stories, but I did on some of the spreads. And here I have budget and spending, so I basically just been um, writing what how much I want to use for all of these topics and the total of this. So this doesn't include you know um, the the bills and stuff. And then on the spendings, it's how much I actually spend on all these categories, and then I can compare at the end of the month. Then here we have YouTube. I chose Snow White for this because I feel like Snow White is like a crowd pleaser. You know, she like everyone of the the dwarfs. They kind of want to like, like <laughs> you know, be with her or like they all love her so much. So I thought that was like a good fit. And so I want to have an idea section for YouTube here as well as a checklist. And I check when I have film edited, done the thumbnail, and posted it. So that's what the four boxes are for. And then I also have a YouTube. Uh, trackers when I post on YouTube and when I post on Instagram and then here I have a habit tracker and I, for that I chose Cinderella because she's like 
the working girl, you know, how she's treated like by her stepsisters and her stepmother and she does all the housework. I just put her in Habit Tracker. So here I've done it a little bit differently. I was inspired with this by, I don't know the YouTuber's name, but I'll put it on the screen so you guys can see. And so I did small trackers for everything that has to do with the house and small trackers that have everything that has to do with a cleaning, like myself, and small trackers for family. So I'll just fill in like circle them or something when I do that thing that, that day. Um, so this is my time log. Here I'll be using these little dots and I'll for every half an hour that I do with these things, I'll write a dot for that thing on the time log and hopefully I'll be able to see at the end of the month how much time I spent on all of these things. And I also included a Tiana, Tiana quote here that says, if you do your best each and every day, good things are sure to come your way. Which is exactly what the time log is about, and I think the quote really fit. Then of course we have the Sleeping Beauty for the sleep log, the beautiful Aurora. And here is a quote by her that says, If you dream a thing more than once, it's sure to come true. And I don't do quote pages a lot, but I was trying it out, and I think this one worked out quite well. But as you can see, I made some mistakes. And for this one, I just highlight the hours that I sleep. Then here we have the thought of the day. So I did this a lot before and I'm bringing it back. And for this one, I'm basically just writing one line a day about anything really. I can choose whatever it is I want to write about. And I chose Rapunzel for this because I felt like, because I felt like, you know, she's been in the tower a lot. So I feel like she's a, she's probably had a lot of time to think. And that's why I chose her. And for the reading log, I definitely chose Belle because, you know, she's like the book nerd of the princesses. And for this, I have my TBR here, so I'll write the books that I want to read in April and or like a priority list because I'm not quite sure. And then also like a log of all the books I read here. But for this one, I wish I'd done these like twirly things up here as well. I feel like this box kind of just ruins the aesthetic of this page. And for my attempted calligraphy, I've been using this Chinese pen and uh, that's what I use. It's not like I'm not great at calligraphy but this is actually quite an easy tool and that's what I've been using on basically most of the lettering. Then here is my weekly spread. For this one I did something I've never actually tried before and that is having a timetable up here and then a task list down here as well as a goals, goals section here. I don't have a reason for choosing Ariel for this other than um, I wish that this week is going to go smoothly as water and it's all going to have a flow through all of it. So here, if I have dance lessons, I'll just write a little boxes with the dance lesson and the timing each day. And if I have appointments or um, courses or anything like that, I'll write that up here. All my events and then tasks here. And that is everything for this monthly spread. Um, I also use this like setup to make sure I do all the pages. Um, and also the the site organized the princesses for this month. So I hope you guys enjoyed this bullet journal um, and that you guys are also into getting back to my old style. I hope you guys liked it. I really love this theme. It makes me really, really happy, you know. I was listening to the musical CD of Aladdin. I haven't actually seen this musical, but I really, really want to. And Aladdin is such a great movie. I absolutely love it. And so I was listening to that while I was doing these spreads and I was just like, mood, this is perfect. I loved it so much. And I feel myself getting back to bullet journaling and starting to experiment again because I was kind of stuck. And it's just because I was not on the right track. And now that I am back to my old bullet journaling again, I feel so much happier. So I hope you guys enjoyed this and have an amazing bullet journal month, an amazing day. And I will see you guys soon. Bye bye.